welcome along. I hope you're all doing well on uh, this fine uh, Friday evening. The weekend has started. I've lost track of all time and yeah. Uh, it's been an exciting day today. I've got my hands on the Cavernal and Vicon DLC and we're going to try it out tonight. And I am looking forward to this. So this stream is going to be uh, run by you guys. Let me know in the chat when we're uh, when we're there, uh, when we're in the game, what you guys want to see, what you guys want me to check out on the uh, on the DLC. We're going on to Oakfield Farm because Oakfield Farm has a lot of fields and everything. I'm going to give us a massive amount of money, and we are just going to play tonight and try things out. So uh, yeah, it's all up to you guys what you want to see in this stream. So let me know. Um, let me say hello to everybody before we get into it though. Uh, Louis876, BR Buster, Gene, uh, Eugene Creel, Rob Featherstone, Big Food 97 welcome to all of you. Luke Older, 1988, thank you for subscribing at tier one. You are awesome. Uh, thank you very, very much. Father Fred, 1020, welcome along. Kate Crab, welcome along. Rick 464, welcome along. Irish Farmer 1975, uh, thank you for subscribing at tier one. You've been subscribed six months and you're currently on a three month streak. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Holger 1919, welcome along. J Man James, welcome along. Thank you for your help, by the way, uh, J Man James. I am going to, I had the same issue with Charwell, uh, on Charwell, with that bailer that we had last time. So I'm going to have a fiddle with it. Although, to be perfectly honest, after tonight, you'll see why I'm never going to use that bailer again. Um, it's me, Gamer626. Welcome along. Um, Farmer Stump 84 welcome along. Clint089, welcome along. Charlie Met Cafe, uh, thank you for the host. Um, who else have we got in here? BR Buster, I've said hello to you, uh, but welcome along again. Farmer Stew, welcome along. Tim Woodhouse, welcome along. Jason 3 TTV, welcome along. Lee Dawson 92, welcome along. Jack Morgan, welcome along to you as well. Let's, uh, let's get into this, shall we? So I'm actually, my, my laptop refused to update this morning. Uh, or this evening, so uh, we're running on the main PC, so this is a single machine stream, uh, which we can do, and we're perfectly capable of doing, so, yeah. Right, so, first things first, we need a lot of money. So, we're going to use a GS cheap money to give us 10 million. That, I think, is a decent start. And then, uh, oh, did I not put, I not put the player speed on. Right, we're going to come back in here. Gamer Dragon, thank you for the raid. You are awesome. Welcome along, Raiders. I'm just going to save this and quit out. Uh, I, I need to get the player speed mod running on here. Um, lots of Raiders. Welcome, Raiders. Dark Star Simulation, the Fisher J, Bright 20, Terrier 930. Uh, Gamer Dragon, Witchy, welcome along. Miller Gaming, welcome along. PDH, Filmy DTY, welcome along. I hope you're all doing well. Right, should we get back into this? Uh, let's, that one, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you Raiders, welcome along. One thing I should mention is tonight's month, uh, monthly, tick away, t monthly giveaway ticket draw comes with a bonus. And it's going to be the same for the next three nights. If you win the ticket into the, this month's giveaway, you will also win a copy of the Cabernet and Vicon DC, uh, DLC. So the DLC we're looking at tonight, I will be giving away a copy of it for the next three nights. So uh, yeah, you could win extra in tonight's thing. We have an issue in that I need to restart my stream deck. Again, it only does this after I actually start the stream, which is just massively annoying. Right, you go away. Uh, you come up. Player speed is what we want on here. People, uh, player speed. That's what I missed off. Yeah, that works. I'm going to put those in as well because we can do those. So there we go. How much tickets? 500 groats for a ticket into the draw. Uh, 15,000 growth marks for a ticket for the, uh, for the monthly giveaway. Yep. But you, there are other ways you can get into it. Right, here we go. So we're back in the house. I have no idea. I have two versions of Oakfield on my, uh, on my computer. 
I have no idea which version this is. I should really update it. Thank you for the uh, host of WW2 Tiger Tank. Right, now we should be able to. Yeah, so we got the player speed controlled now. And I am going to... So what do you guys want to see first? Do you want to do some grass work? Or do you want to do some plowing? Or do you want us to do some cultivating? Uh, do you want us to do... Um, do you want us to work towards the baler? So we're going to get a grass field and get those big mowers maybe to start with. What do you guys want to see? <laughs> Apparently Fisher J, he wants to see the chicken dance before we get into this. Oh yeah. Wants to see the giveaway start as well. So, create and start. Giveaway as normal is for uh, is a draw for the monthly giveaway ticket. A monthly giveaway ticket. So, uh, we'll see the plow grass work with Baylor. You're deaf. <laughs> right. Let's head up to the shop because that's where we're going to need to get stuff. There we go. So, we got one for the baler and one for doing grass work. Lots of people going, oh my god, with that. Uh, let's get some more raffles. I should also say, go check out Gamer Dragon. Uh, and also go and check out Terrier. Both are fantastic creators. Right, so... What do you want to see? Should we should we get started with some grass work first? I'm going to pick a nice big grass field. Uh, where have we got grass? We have grass on field six, field five, field one. I think we'll have a go. Red Dirt, wow, Red Dirt Ranch is ready with a party 77. Oh my God, Red. Thank you so much. Sheesh. That's, that's over a hundred raiders in the last five minutes. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Guys, go check out Red Dirt Ranch. Absolutely amazing uh, streamer. Great guy. YouTube part, uh, twi Twitch partner, sorry. Really worth checking out. He is absolutely brilliant. I think we can do one and three. Uh, welcome Raiders, GB Moddy, welcome along, Jack Morgan 1, welcome along, uh, who else we got here, C Cave Streaming, welcome along, Travis B261004, welcome along, uh, Red Dirt, welcome along, uh, yeah, it is preview, <laughs> absolutely it's preview day, I'm gonna get a big tractor, I'm gonna get a big tractor that I really want, do I go T, oh, no, I'm gonna go T7, T7, Max power should have enough to do what I want to do. Uh, so we're going to buy that. Uh, let's put GPS on it to make it easier. And can we put Notkins on this thing? No, I can't. So we're going to go wide tyres and buy that. That is a good start. Uh, thank you, uh, Kiwi for... KW for life. Thank you for the uh, follow. Uh, Red Dirt Ranch, thank you very, very... Oh no, Galcom, thank you for gifting a, a T1 sub to Red Dirt Ranch. You are awesome. Right, let's... Uh, I take it you guys want to see this baler in action, is where we're going to go with this. So let's get ourselves some mowers. Let's get these. Uh, and let's get them in the Vicon Black, I think, is a good place for us to start. DS Game Lab, thank you for the follow. Uh, you are awesome. Welcome to the BFN. Are you in the draw? Um, is that Charlie? Yes, Charlie, you do have a ticket in the draw. Uh, and then I'm going to grab this as well. Yes. Uh, right, I want it. I want it with these because these are awesome. So we're going to buy that as well. I don't think I put follow me on this in my rush to get set up. Oh, the other thing I haven't done that will just annoy me. Automatic engine start off. So yeah, we're going to start off with some grass work. 
So we're not doing seasons on this. This is purely, hey, let's uh, let's play around with this and see what we can do. And we'll take my favourite modern tracks. Well, the HD is quite my favourite modern tractor. You what? <laughs> This side panel. Oh, no. <laughs> VF's an idiot. Uh, why did I think I didn't have manual attach on? That is just nuts. Since when do I play without manual attach on? I think it's because I did the preview of this without manual attach on. Let's see, uh, 0D3. I'm good, thank you. We're going to have some fun with this uh, this tonight. I think. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I, I love, I will come out, I love this DLC. I had a play around with it for my, uh, my overview and everything, and it just... It's just an absolutely cracking DLC, this. Uh, I'm right up there with the uh, the Coon DLC from FS17. Uh, that that was one of my favourite DLCs in that. Uh, and uh, and like, like that, my favourite DLC in FS17 is the Modern Classics. My favourite DLC in FS19 is the Platinum Edition. But like the, the Coon DLC, this is a close second. Adds so much to the game this DLC does. And just absolutely love it. Really, really cool. How do you enter the draw? So to enter the draw is exclamation mark enter. Followed by either the num... Well, you can just put exclamation mark enter. That will get you a ticket. Exclamation mark enter. And a number up to 10 will buy you that many tickets. If you have the groats to do it. And exclamation mark enter max will buy you as many tickets as you can afford in groats. Uh, and then if you want to join the raffle to get some more groats, that's how you do it. Uh, and we'll continue to run uh, run raffles. So I have done this on New Farmer. This is a very quick and dirty setup of the game. Um, I am going to be doing, so this, uh, to, to showcase this DLC in a series, I am starting on Little Norton tomorrow. Um, that, if you're a fan of Fence as well, you're going to like that because I think the Cabernet stuff looks absolutely gorgeous on a Fent. Um, so we're going to be using, we're going to create a Fent and a Cabernet farm on Little Norton. And I'm looking forward to it because we've found some nice Fent mods. Um, TB Games, thank you for the host. You are awesome. So we've got 131 viewers in here at the moment. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you, everybody who is uh, watching the stream. Uh, I love you all. You are all absolutely awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I play things. If you're new here, I play things a little bit more realistically, or try to play things a little bit more realistically, I should say. Oh, oh, yeah, as I said, try to. Let's have a look around this road as we are running it like so. Right, so we should have a grass. Yeah, I've got a grass field here and a grass field in field one. So let's unfold those. Drop them down. Unfold that. And I am just going to row this up so that we can do... Because uh, I know you guys want to see the silage bale stuff at work. Right, there we go. And, oh, no, no, come on. Start that up. And then we want to switch it. If I can remember. There we go. There's my settings. And away we go. And look at that. I love these mowers. These mowers are just absolutely awesome. Risk Realism has solved the first contract issue. If you leave the game, it auto-completes. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one, that one. 
That is a little bit of a weird one. I love the cultivators and the mowers of the baler. Yeah, we are going to go and play with the baler early on. We're going to create some uh, some silage bales on here. Uh, which is part of the reason why we're doing this job at the moment. But I, yeah. Oh, look at that. That is just absolutely amazing, this. This is going to make this kind of job so much easier. If you got the cash to do it. And you can get quite a, a nice, easy turn around the corner with those on the back. So it's not too bad. I'm not very far into that. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge of the field, I think. Loving this. We've got the, uh, we have got the uh, real dirt mod running on here as well. Uh -huh. Right, I think that deserves a very early screenshot. So turning the lights off on the tractor would probably make it a better screenshot. Look at that. New DLC was swelling. Yeah, and this is the thing. So I was, I'm going through and I'm, I'm doing my setup for Little Norton and going, right, what am I going to get and everything like that. And I'm going through and I'm going, that's, that's slightly less horsepower than I was expecting. That's slightly less horsepower than I was expecting. Am I really going to need a 300 plus horsepower tractor on this map? And, uh, and yeah, I've come to the conclusion, no, I can, I can get a, a, a uh, a Fent 900, but at the low end of it, so just over 300 horsepower, and that will be a perfect big tractor for the farm. Uh, even this, this requires about 280 horsepower, I think, uh, to work. Uh, and so, yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not a big equipment DLC. It's it is it is an absolutely Great medium equipment DLC is how I would describe it. Right, so we'll lift both. Should be lifting both. Come on. Okay. Lift both. Yeah, there we go. And away we go again. Uh, Fent 8, yeah. So uh, my plan is I'm, I'm bringing... If any of you guys saw my uh, Meadowgrove series, a tractor is returning from that. Because I went to do my setup and went, I have to have that. I love that tractor. I'm doing an all-fent farm. That has to make a return. So there's a tractor that I love that people go, what the hell is that every single time I use it? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Um, I then got uh, two mid-range uh, tractors I'm going to have, which are going to be uh, Fent 800s. Um, one is... That stupid little fence is coming back, Jack. Um, uh, so I'm going to be uh, doing two Fent 800s, one a newer one and one an older one, sort of either side of 200 horsepower. Um, and then a 300 horsepower... Um, uh, Fent 900, but the uh, the one that looks like the 1000, so it's it's going to be the um, the prototype one, uh, which is just gorgeous. Uh, so that's that's going to be the basic setup. We're probably not going to get these mowers. I'm going to get the front mower, I think, and uh, the trailed mower, the one that hangs out the back. Uh, uh, not the Xylon, no, 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 not the Xylon, but. But one that's, the one that's missing the bonnet, that is going to make a comeback. That's going to be my uh, front loader tractor. Uh, yes, the 900S is the tractor that I'm going to get on Little Lord. No problem, Fabio. Welcome along. Uh, so that's that's going to be my tractor setup. Um, and then the, everything else is built around that. Combine is going to be in New Holland because there's a New Holland combine I've wanted to use for a while. Um, so we're going to get that on there and uh, and then pretty much anything that I can get that is from this DLC that I need for the farm 
is uh, is going to be that. Uh, no, because we got I got I've got one on the farm that is that shape. So I wanted to do something different, and the the 900 is actually a pro is at least a prototype that exists. The uh, there's an 800 and a 700 version of that that is just somebody guessing that that might exist. So yes, that is the one, Luke. The GTA gotta have that back. Absolutely perfect on a farm where we're going to be doing. So we're going to be doing beef and uh, beef cattle and um, uh, sheep for meat. So we're not going to be doing any wool and we're not going to be doing any milk. We're going to be doing purely uh, animals for slaughter on uh, on Little Norton as well. So uh, yeah, to to try and investigate that side of things on seasons. Uh, because uh, I haven't yet, so I want to play around with that. Um, we're playing around with uh, milk, uh, dairy, and uh, and and wool um, producing animals on uh, on um, uh, the Valley of the Old Farm. When does Little Norton start? Tomorrow. So first episode is tomorrow. Um, and we're going to be doing a fair bit of setup. Uh, not a lot of field work because uh, I'm hoping uh, that we might be able to enable something else in it next week. Uh, and I'll say, I'll, I won't say anything more about that at the moment, but I want to say a huge uh, thank you to GB Modding, who is being massively supportive with what I want to do on his map. Uh, so, yes, um, huge shout out to him. He is awesome, and I want to thank him very much. We will be doing something on there that I um, don't think anybody else is doing at the moment. Macy, because you can't. Uh, do I do my giveaways? Uh, yes, Morpheus. I do my giveaways. Uh, yes, uh, Stream Elements is what I do the draws through. Uh, the actual uh, monthly giveaway, that is done via a spreadsheet in Google Docs. Because uh, I've got a formula that randomly picks from the names that are listed in it. Yeah, I do love this. This is, I mean, these are just gorgeous, these mowers. Yeah, I'm, 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 Thank you very much, Holger, for the air horn. We're losing it. Uh, I've lost my Twitch. No, I've lost my Twitch. That's not good. I managed to close my creator dashboard. I don't want to do that. Uh, reminds me, I need to play the realism experiment more often. Yeah. Uh, we will be back on the realism experiment on Sandy Bay tomorrow night. Uh, of course, the realism experiment on Sandy Bay, we can't use this yet. Um, this DLC will be coming to that series, though. Uh, we will be streaming on there on Tuesday night, and this will be on that series uh, from Tuesday night, when it is generally available to everybody who is on the... Um, uh, who is on the... Uh, who will be on the server. From Games, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFF. Wow, it's struggling up the hill slightly. I don't know what came over me. I'm going to move that out of the way a little bit because <laughs> I just realised my mic is over my face almost. Oh, It's warm in here tonight, but then you got me dancing. I'm on the combine harvest stock and one day I have an idea. I think, I think we might. I've got to be careful though. I think we'd have to have the only way I can do the combine harvester song. Uh, will be for me to um, for me to sing it myself 
in the uh, in the stuff. Don't do this to me tonight, internet connection, please. No, there we go. We're back. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I think the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to create my own sound alert of me singing it. And I think the way we'll do it uh, is that I will uh, I will do a slightly less expensive version, and that will be uh, that will be less less um, bits to play that. Um, and then I will do a long version, which will be a lot of uh, a lot of bits. But if somebody wants to play it, you know that's up to you. And the the thing is, it will be torture for me because I will have to listen to myself sing, which is just yeah. Uh, hey, Michael, welcome along. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. What did he say? What did Trevor say? I missed it. So yeah, I think that is going to be the best bet on how to do it. It'll have to be a sound alert. Of course, as I said, I cannot play the official version because the official version will just get like that. So, my bad version that has enough creativity for it to be fair use. Uh, what map is this? We are running this on um, Oakfield tonight. I want to have a play around and uh, uh, with this equipment on here. Uh, it's a good map for this. We've got nice large grass fields, nice large uh, workable fields as well. So uh, yeah, all good as far as that goes. Uh, means that we can have a proper play around with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and Just set this. Just do it. it. Make, Make your, your dreams, dreams come, come true. true. Thank you, the Fisher J, for playing. Just do it. <laughs> uh, how many tickets do you have, Charlie? I don't know. Uh, my basic suggestion normally is keep entering until it won't let you enter anymore. Yeah, pretty much what Michael's done. Uh, there is no command, unfortunately, to get it to, uh, yeah, that didn't pick up. Oh, well. Good evening, Life's Entertainment. So I'm going to set this doing a, a spread out version on the uh, on one of the other fields, on field one. So that we can then go and get the tether out and try that out in a bit. Um, but on here, we're going to go and get the baler. Lift up. Uh, Life's Entertainment, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Back in. Look at that. That, is, uh, that has gone down very nicely. We've got some good rows on here. I keep thinking this is going to dry out, but this is the vanilla game. This isn't... Uh, oh, I haven't got my stuff up. Uh, this is not uh, seasons, so it won't dry out. And it won't rot either. The Van Hammer DB, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Hello, ET Agriculture YT. Welcome. Along. And thank you for the host as well. Right, that is this field done. And I like these balers. These balers are absolutely awesome. The width on these is brilliant. So we'll take this down, uh, take this up to field one, and we'll uh, we'll just set this off with a uh, with a hired worker. Do subs get double charts? No. GB modding, thank you for the host. 
You are awful. Now, why was it sh- Why was it showing field one up as grass? Ah, it was grass. Okay, we'll take this down to field six. It was grass. It has been cultivated. Uh, release date for this DLC is on uh, uh, on Tuesday. Yes. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. Now, here's something I've seen nobody else test yet. With these. And this should work. Because we're not going to be harvesting this. Unfold it. Turn it on. Drop it down. <clears throat> now this should work. Yes. There we go. Doop doop do. Nothing to see here. I'm just mowing. <laughs> I'm just mowing the wheat <laughs> so yeah this works absolutely brilliantly on this job as well if you ever just want to create straw and don't give a toss about the actual wheat there you go that's how you do it mow it down pile it up and we can bale it later uh, thank you Road Simulation YT for the, uh, the host you are awesome. <laughs> Did you know you can do this in Farm Sim? You can just mow the wheat and create. Uh, and create straw. And yeah, it is pretty quick mowing. Especially considering how high this is. We'll get to see how, how quick it is up this hill now as well. Considering this is uh, T7 HD 315, I think we got on here. Is this a 315? Yeah. See, that's a pretty unique enough thing for us to uh, to do this with. Except for under the trees. I will be under the trees. Give me a gap. Yeah, there we go. We are not harvesting anything today. Could do the same with field grass. Probably, actually. I haven't tried. I haven't tried it with field grass yet. I really should. Yeah, that is a really good question. Yeah, you can mow crop. It's. It is one of those. It is something that I think came in with FS19. I don't remember it being in FS17. Later, Terrier. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so I'm gonna take the headland off this and then just leave this. Uh, doing the rest of this field uh, while we go and get the baler. But yeah, I nearly forgot that you can do this. You can just mow crop. And if you're not interested, as I said, if you're not interested in the wheat at all, if you just... Because if you think of the price of a combine, this is actually a pretty cheap way of getting... Um, you know, just do a little field of wheat and mow it. You don't have to buy a combine to do that then. Jack of all cades, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. So yeah, uh, start from scratch. Um, uh, start from scratch idea. If you're just doing animals and you don't need to get the wheat and you just need some straw, plant a little field of uh, a little field of wheat, and then rather than spending the money to get a combine, uh, which you won't pay off doing that week just mow it with your mowers that you've got yeah exactly jack absolutely depends on how you want to play of course well um yeah tomorrow we won't have this dlc on the farm of course uh but uh we will on tuesday Yeah. 
take this down to the bottom and we'll set it off. Want to get equal to the um, the grain of the field here. And then set this off. There we go. Wow. Right down the bottom. Okay. There we go. So we'll leave that going. And we'll head back up to the shop. So I'm going to be using New Hollands on this tonight. Let's see. So we want... Raffle. You guys want a raffle. We're going to try out this baler. So this is under, unsurprisingly, baling technology. Vicon fast baler. So I'm going to get the Vicon version of it. Can get it in Caverneland as well. I like this and this is the... Because we're going to go all Caverneland rather than Vicon on uh, Little Norton. We'll be getting the, the Caverneland version of it. Uh, we will stay with the white... Uh, wraps. Uh, I'm going to put the Michelin tyres. Actually, no, I'm going to leave the Troll Book tyres on it. And yeah, so we're going to go with that. Uh, this takes 150 horsepower. So I mean, 150 horsepower tractor. I'm thinking a T6, maybe. What do we got in here? Uh, that's 120, 145. That's the T5. So, yeah, the T5 is not quite what we're after. We want a T6. Do I have a modded T6 in here? 218. 220 for an older T6. No, I, I have an older T6. I uh, don't think that goes up to... Oh, 150. Yeah, we can take the older T6 for this, actually. Uh, configuration, we'll put a weight on the front of it, go with the trail ball, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go with trail balls, I oh, know, Michelin's design, standard UK flag, right, we'll put the UK flag on it, main colour, do I have, oh, I do, I've got, ooh, shiny, shiny blue power. Grey uh, for the blue power as well. And design colour for the blue power. There we go. That's what we want to go with. Uh, and pair of beacon lights. Spiffy. A few more raffles. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you can initiate a raffle. Uh, what time does the giveaway end? The giveaway ends after an hour. I can't actually see. So we've got half an hour left on the giveaway. So let's buy that. Hopefully this mod works. There we go. Shiny blue power T6. Cool. This is more crap than I remember the T6. Being. Camera's fairly far back, but otherwise okay. I think this is the T6 from FS15 done up. Might be. Not sure. It uh, is. Should do the job rather nicely. Yeah, the baler is. It's bigger than I'm. I put a. Uh, I put a uh, case on the front of this. I think this uh, this T6 is not a massive tractor, but that is, yeah, that is quite cool. I do like that. I do quite like, at some point I'm going to do another New Holland farm, because uh, this little T6 is good. Uh, this and, uh, and the more modern T6, again, are those, those mid-range tractors. Ah, 
that. Uh, might be a bit better. We'll just in cab. It is, yeah, it's a 2014-ish. I think this tractor first appeared in uh, FS15. It's pretty. Oh, I love that smell. Uh, wasn't there a mod that came out a while ago that allowed you to mow wheat, barley, and oats with the mower? Uh, no, it's base game. You can, you can mow wheat, barley, and, and oats with the mower. Um, it will uh, it will just it just creates straw. Uh, no, it's always been possible. Always been possible to mow straw, uh, mow crops for straw in FS uh, 19. That's, that is not, to me, that is not something new and it's not something that is a mod. I think FS 17 had it as a mod. I think that's not what you might be thinking of. But FS 19, you could always mow, uh, you could always mow crops. Because I've done it before. Definitely done it before. Mowing green. Now that you need a mod. Yes. That was a recent mod. And you are right, Jack. Yeah. Oh, Grizzly. We used to we used to spread so we did we spread uh turkey muck on the farm every year. And uh and yeah you the the uh, without fail every single year it would a end up being really hot the week after and b the prevailing wind would blow it over the village and my dad would get so many phone calls complaining about the smell i'm loving this dlc uh j -Tab. it is absolutely cracking dlc this is absolutely brilliant I'm looking forward to playing with this a lot. It's like it, even though even the, the coon stuff I play a lot with now in FS19, even though that was a an FS17 uh, DLC. Right, there we go. Turn it on. Drop it down. And away we go. And if we get the speed of this right, we'll be good. Uh, big guys, 86. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Oh, you can't get more. more, more, more. Yeah, look, that is good. So we're going at six miles an hour. We'll hold it at that then. Seems to be a good speed. And yeah, the pre-chamber on this is just awesome. So look at that. We have not stopped. That has unloaded the bale. We're not up to a full bale yet. And you'll see it go from the pre-chamber to the rear chamber. And there we go. And we've got another bail out. And that is no stopping with a round bail. Do I still sing on Twitch? I don't. I dance, but I don't sing. I love this bailer. This bailer is just awesome. We are not going fast enough to overload this bailer at the moment. It is just, yeah. That is just cracking. Oop. Testing how wide its catchment is. Not as wide as I probably need it. To make up for my mistakes. Drops them fairly solidly as well. They're not rolling easily. Uh, the bales are still 4,000 litres. Uh, which uh, Red Dirt, I think, fell foul of earlier. Because the map he was on does um, bales that are larger than 4,000 litres. Uh, 4,000 litres. Okay, so that one's rolling. Not surprising considering the hill we are on. I have got the Anderson DLC on here. So we can go and collect these bales up. Um, fairly easily. But this is, uh, yeah, that is just 
absolutely amazing. Trying to get some decent views of it. Because it is cool. I do love this baler. 110,000 is not the cheapest, but I'm just thinking, if you have... It's a pity I'm not on a straighter bit. If you have a baler and a wrapper, round baler and a wrapper, that has got to be 110,000. What, how does that compare to other stuff? Let's get this on a straight line. And if we have a look in here and have a look at the bailing technology. 76,000 for the, the Coon equivalent. Uh, but if you buy uh, just around baler, 49,000 plus 54 uh, or 22. Yeah, so it is more expensive. Oh, gone off track. Uh, so we'll be we'll be getting this baler on Norton. We'll be getting um, uh, we'll be getting a planter and a cedar because uh, of the kind of stuff we're doing on there. Uh, we'll probably be getting the uh, the cedar that I uh, highlighted in today's uh, spotlight. That I think we'll be getting, uh, and then. The first of the two planters I did as well. Come on, move please. Thank you. Hey, Martin ML Gamer. Go check out Martin. He is... Oh, that's Terry. I don't want to... No, I, 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 Terry is cool as well. But go check out Martin. He's a fantastic streamer as well. Does mainly on PS4. Or does entirely on PS4, I should say. Go check him out. Awesome, awesome streamer. Ah, there we go. Way keep on the keep on the line. Coming up that hill, that's exactly where I want to go. Like so. Like that. This is gorgeous. Uh, what begins uh, uh, getting my farm on the server? Oh, on the server, run. Uh, I don't know at the moment. I, I think I am planning to, again, planning to get this baler. Um, I am planning to get... Um, other than that, I don't know at the moment. Uh, I'm probably going to get some bits that are, uh, that are, you know, work well with my, my cow farm. Because uh, I think that's, that's going to be necessary. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about cedars and stuff. I've got a 200 horsepower tractor. Or I'm going to be, so I'm going to be replacing my tractor tomorrow night. Um, but it's only going to be 200 horsepower, so I'm not going to be able to get a. Um, uh, I'm not going to be able to get one of the cedars from it. I don't think. Hello, B Bolto Six. Welcome along. I think you might have been here before as well. Uh, I could get the th small three meter cedar from this pack. That would be quite nice. But I've got to be careful because I don't have a huge amount of money on my farm. On. Uh, on Sandy Bay, so. <coughs> um, I believe that this New Holland is on the Mod Hub, yes. Uh, it is the old shape T6 that's on there. Um, uh, yeah, check check this out on the Mod Hub. I get most of my, so most of my mods come from either the Mod Hub or from Yes Mods. And Yes Mods do seem to be listing stuff again, which is cool. So I'm, uh, I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that they seem to be back, which is great. Um, I've got a couple of other sites to check out, and I'm thinking of doing a new uh, initiative um, for uh, creators and modders and, uh, and mod listing sites to come together, and the best of them 
uh, to be able to, to sort of be pushed out there and recommended uh, by, uh, by, uh, by modders and by creators. Uh, because there are some good ones out there. There are some good ones I don't, I didn't know about. Um, and uh, and so I want I want to do something that we can basically, as many of us as possible, get on the the same page and go. Yeah, these are these are the best mod sites around. Go check them out. Go use them rather. Than <laughs> oh God, Fisher J, you scared the hell out of me. Thank you for playing the jump scare. <laughs> What tractor am I getting? Uh, I'm going to be getting the John Deere. So the uh, John Deere 40 series. That is going on to the uh, server for tomorrow night. Now that is an amazing shot of that. This is, uh, this is absolutely brilliant. Look at that, just zooming through that field that tractor is. It's absolutely incredible. I'm gonna go and um, test this out on, so we don't need to bail this whole field. We'll go and test it out on a bit of uh, straw in a moment. I think there's a plenty of straw on that field for us to go and have a go with. It just, yeah, it just doesn't stop. And I, I love this baler for it. It's just absolutely cracking. Hello, the gaming guitar guy. Welcome along. There is a, there is a Cavernland mower, side mower, that came out on the Mod Hub recently as well. So I think I'm going to add those onto the server so that I can get the front mower and a side mower similar to the setup I had before. Right, let's see if we can get this topped up just to the end. Oh, come on, oh, there's a little bit there. But two more mods on Sadie Bay mods. Okay. Well, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have this on there next week. So it depends on the mower mods that you you've got, Jack. But we don't need too many if we're going to have this DLC on the uh, on the server next week. Right. Let's see how this performs with some straw. Why is that grass? I must have picked up the tiniest bit of grass for that. That will get um, turned. And then the next one is going to be straw. So those worrying that this is going to wrap everything. <laughs> comes the straw and it just drops it straight down. Perfect. Great, thank you Martin. Uh, thank you for playing uh, the chicken dance gal cop. Hopefully my stream, oh why is my stream doing this? There we go. 
I don't know if it's restarting or whether it's causing lots of issues because, yeah, we've dropped down to 88 viewers. How come I'm mowing wheat? Because we, we're testing out this DLC so we don't need to harvest the wheat. We want, just want to create straw uh, so, that, uh, so that we can test this out and have a look at this. Um, but, yeah, look at this. This is just brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I think we're going to try out the cultivators in a minute. So we'll, we'll let that tractor sort of mow the rest of this field. Uh, but this is, uh, yeah, absolutely cracking. Brilliant. Look at that. That's from when I saw the chicken dance to the chat actually appearing. Wow! <laughs> uh, Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you were here? Never thought you'd miss the combine house or something. <laughs> So yeah, that is this baler, which is just, as I said, absolutely awesome. Really, really cool. I wish I could leave it going and doing the rest of these fields. Uh, but I think we should go and check out some other bits in this DLC. So what do you guys want to check out next? Uh, should we have a look at the sprayers? Should we have a look at the, um, at the cultivators and the cedars? What do you guys want to see? Uh, mowing is in the base game. I do not have a mowing mod for this on here. This is a base game function. So yeah, let me know what you want to see uh, see me do next. Uh, note that is perfectly within the rules. Right. In fact, I think I've done it. The plow. Ooh, the plow. Yes, let's go do the plow. Right. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Yeah, let's get <laughs> let's <laughs> Right. Let's head back up to the shop and uh, and we're going to try out the plow. So, we'll go buy it first. Uh, so <laughs> I'll I give a blade the sheep scheme vision. Oh wow, this is uh plows, here we go. So this is it. I love this. This is absolutely awesome. So standard version, but what we want to see is the Paco mat. Uh so that is a that is a packer. Uh it is uh yeah, it's there to break up the uh plow furrows in game. Thank you, the Fisher J for the 50 bit cheer. You are awesome. Right, there we go. Uh, back. All right, sorry. How much? 165 horsepower. So, we are going to want a small tractor for this. 120. 140. Can we get higher with this end series? Yeah, we can go 201. 100. Okay. Uh, I should be able then. 117. No. Let's go with something a little more old school, maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay, maybe not too old school. 218. That's a little bit overpowered. Here we are. 165. Perfect. TM165. Uh, we will not go GPS. Don't need a front loader. Yep, we'll go with the slightly larger wheels uh, or Mitus Michelin's. Okay. There we go. New Holland Fiat Black Power. We'll go with the New Holland and uh, design front fenders standard. Yeah. GPS, front. okay, perfect. 
Uh, we get the T7 in a minute. I'm, I'm going to do the T8, T7 for something else. But this is quite good for this. And um, we want some weights. Let's just put a smallish weight on here. Galcom Gamer, thank you for the 20 bit cheer. You are awesome. Martin ML Gamer, thank you for the five gifted subs. You are awesome. And the train is leaving the station. The glass has been exploded. We're already on level two of a hype train. In fact, we are almost to level three. Uh, welcome to the subscribers. A base of 2010. Gordon861. Gaming Kevo1. MB68DK. Uh, and GRT Jack. Uh, if you've been gifted a sub by Martin, please hit. Uh, please don't hit him. Uh, please let him know. Uh, please show him your gratitude in the chat. Right, let's. Can we fold this? Will it fold? There we go. Nope, that won't fold that way. So we've got to do it the other way. I do love this. This just looks awesome. Right, and we need to find a field. Uh, we have... Well, we do have a field. Why won't this fold? Oh, oh I think I... No. Did we... Yeah, there we go. Fold. Um, thank you, uh, Daniel Ginsberg, for the... <laughs> that 20 bit uh cheer you are awesome the fisher j thank you for gifting five tier one subs you are uh you've given something to one you are awesome uh welcome to the uh, subscribers br buster oh man i can't read that anymore i've got to ah this has gone mad um uh br buster and Chris. 354 Almer Almer uh, Calf 2000 and Cube Jam F1. Welcome to the subscribers. Also, huge thank you to Galcom Gamer for gifting 10 tier one subs to the community. You are awesome. Um, welcome to the subscribers. Uh, Hodak uh, Wupen ZS Tech uh, K Tigris 2. I'm gonna hit that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Larenth, uh, Bailey Shaw 20, uh, Damien WBA, Orm Halt 50, S3, Zai Scottish Farmer, and uh, Joseph Santos 21, uh, sorry, 23, 180. Uh, if you have been gifted a sub, please I'm gonna thank you in the chat to, uh, to whoever gifted it to you, because they are awesome. Uh, I am going to be getting the new John Deere 40 series in tomorrow's stream, Thomas. I'm sticking with uh, uh, these in this one. Now, I'm just trying to think. I think we might go and do a cheaty thing on field one. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hide that. Uh, to try this out. Or maybe on one of the grass fields. Woo, we are level 5 hype train. We're over the top. We have filled the train. You guys are amazing. Still going. It's amazing how similar to the T. Well, no, it doesn't look that similar to the T6. Looks very, very similar to the 7840 there. Right, so I am going to head up. This way. Uh, let's go through here. So this tractor should easily be able to handle this. Uh, can I lime in the rain uh, if you play realism? Uh, exclamation mark realism in the chat will bring up the realism experiment rules. We're not playing it tonight, uh, but uh, yeah, you can check that. 
Helper D has completed their task. That means we should have some fields to blow out. Yeah. This is a wicked tractor. Uh, Ruben19, thank you for the host. You are awesome. How long have we got left on the giveaway? We are 20 minutes, I think. Are we 20 minutes? Let me have a quick check. No, no, we are not 20 minutes. My screen is just a long way out of date. Uh, we are, wow, we are about to do the giveaway. Or oh, we're about to do the uh, the ticket draw for tonight. The ticket draw for tonight comes with a copy of this DLC. So uh, if you are lucky enough to uh, to get an entry into the monthly giveaway from tonight's draw, you will also get a copy of this DLC. Um, it will be a pre-order code. I will go and purchase it straight after the stream and send it to you uh, either via Whisper on here or... Um, if you prefer, I can email it to you. Last chart. It has gone over the minute. I will give you another 30, 40 seconds. Basically, when the hype train ends is when uh, I will close the giveaway. Right, so we've got some space. So we've got this edge here. We can try this on. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we'll try this in the middle of the field, actually. <clears throat> there we go. Hype train is complete. I am going to pause this. Uh, I am going to show that. Whoa, that's a lot of hype train emotes. 20 subs, 845 bits. Thank you, everybody. We achieved level 5 on the hype train. The giveaway is now closed. So you can no longer enter it. Um, let's draw a winner, shall we? So I'm going to go to my just chopping screen. Choo -choo. All right. <laughs> let's see who has won a copy of this DLC along with an entry into this month's giveaway. Daniel Kinsberg, congratulations! Are you in the chat? Do you want the DLC? And uh, and yeah, you have a ticket to the giveaway. If you're in the chat and you reply, he is. There you go. Right. Uh, so I will drop you a. Uh, I'll drop you a quick whisper uh, because uh, that way I can get you on there. Uh, what my hoodie is, yeah, it's sort of an Assassin's Creedy type one. Um, right. Uh, whisper. Uh, congratulations on winning a copy of the Cavernaland uh, DLC. Uh, right. Right. Okay, uh, and I will also enter you into the monthly draw. So, uh, yeah, you are in with a chance as well of winning a farm sim side panel, which I have beside me. I'm going to switch back over to here. So, yeah, like the farm sim side panel, like this one I have here. Uh, you, not with a BF logo on, for, on it, unfortunately. I can't, I can't do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, you uh, get uh, a chance for winning one of those at the end of the month as well. Uh, Thomas Beguren, uh, I'm going to be getting uh, that in tomorrow night's stream. Right, so, given the angle of this, uh, we are going to fold in... There we go. Fold in that... We will uh, turn the plow, because so we're going to go up the field. Right. And that will fold it in, and we go across like this. Uh, north, south, I think. 180. Yeah, there we go. Down with that. And do this. So, you can see rather nicely... 
how uh, this plows. So I've got this folded up because there's no point in having that out at the moment. I, one thing I don't know is if you do use this on field where it hasn't already plowed, does it cultivate? It does. So this does cultivate no matter whether the, the ground has been plowed or not. <laughs> Thank you, Girl Cop Gamer, for playing the jump scare. Uh, so yeah, you can uh, you can just cultivate with the uh, with the side bit. But we're not, we're trying to be a little bit more realistic with it. So we've got a uh, we've got our packer folded up, and uh, and we're just going to run across field here, and then we're going to uh, run over the uh, the rest of it back. Uh, Clarence, two thousand and five. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. That is just. I'm liking it. I, I really love this plow. I am going to be... This is a plow that I am going to use. It's not too bad on its width. I think it's like two and a half meter plow, this. Uh, what is it? It is a... Where is it? Uh, two and a half meter plow, yeah. So it's not too bad a width to plow this, as plows go. Right, let's turn it. And we will also deploy that at the same time. Added a combined Sandy Bay mod. Which, okay, I need to be careful because otherwise we're going to creep up in the number of mods again. Right, there we go. And away we go. So there you go. So now it will just cultivate. Or, or turn to cultivate it where you've previously plowed. While you're plowing the next one. Um, and I love this because this is really what you should probably do uh, if your cedar is a um, is not a uh, is not a direct cedar. You, you you don't really want to be seeding straight onto plowed land. Uh, you want to break it up. And, and yeah, I love this for this. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's combined, so kind of need it on the side. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll have a look, Baron. I need to go through and uh, and do the stuff for tomorrow's stream anyway. But that is cool. That is just wicked. Smokey J, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Let's, uh, that is actually the first time I've found a really photogenic plow in FS19. You know, a plow that I can actually get to an angle and go, right, I can take a picture of that. Oop. Ooh, that's good. Wow. Look at how straight that plowing was. <laughs> Later, Rowan. I am on Oakfield tonight. Uh, Charwell, yeah. So, Charwell video today in the rush to get everything out with the DLC and everything uh, just didn't happen. Uh, there will be the final episode of Charwell next week. Uh, I will fit it in somewhere in the schedule. Um, but, yeah, Charwell, unfortunately, I couldn't get the last episode of Charwell out. Those final episodes have been really, really busy ones to uh, to get done. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I can knock that out over the weekend. Who am I going to raid later? Well, Morpheus Simulations, I believe, has started his 36-hour stream. So, uh, yeah. I think we might go and, uh, and raid Morpheus on his 36 hours, if we can. Because he is going to be dead by the end of that I, I i mean that figuratively not literally of course um but he hasn't quite yet so uh yeah yeah he is uh he is uh nuts is morph um so uh if we're not raiding him tonight we'll be raiding him tomorrow night uh because one way or the other he will still be on that stream so uh yeah when morpheus uh morpheus at some point we're going to be raiding his 36 hour stream uh, uh, and it is and it is 
purely. Uh, and it, he has got baby, he's in a shark costume and, uh, and he has lowered the price of the baby shark sound alerts. It's gonna drive him nuts. Oh, I'm not surprised, Dark Star. I bet you, I bet you guys have. <laughs> Am I gonna do another 24 hour stream? At some point, Thomas. Um, I need to, I was gonna do one this year. Unfortunately, I ended up with a, um, uh, an FSL. Uh, I ended up with an FSL um, tournament the same weekend. So couldn't do it this year. Um, I will probably do the next 24 hour stream here on Twitch. Um, and we'll uh, and play with that. But uh, yeah. Don't know when the next 24 hour stream will be. There we go. Yeah, so this plow, absolutely awesome. I am uh, I'm loving this. And what we can do is we can actually get this to now go and uh, and continue like this. We can hire this and uh, just get get this keep this going across the field. Uh, my one year is must be coming up. Must be really soon because yeah, it's it can't be far off. We've got lots of people who have been subscribed to the channel for nine, uh, sorry, for 11 months coming this year, uh, coming this month. So yeah, must be, must be, um, uh, must be a year as of, uh, as of about middle of next month, I think, or maybe the beginning of next month. Yeah, well, it does catch it, but... And this is this is the bit. Don't forget it cultivates. So I don't know if this field needs ploughing. Uh, does this field need ploughing? Yes, it does. So you can see here, there are bits that it's missed. Um, but yeah, takes the take the needs line off. So you can see it's it's doing there. But yeah, there are bits where uh, it's cultivated. But not ploughed, and as a result, is uh, is still marked as needing ploughing. So, uh, oh, he's still here. I am wishing you luck, more because I know how utterly insensible I was after 24 hours. What you're doing is, yeah. <laughs> oh, good luck, more. Good luck. Yeah, as I said, you are going to need it. Right, so that is the plow uh, that I promised I'd show you guys. So there we go. I think we should go and have a look at another piece of kit. What should we have a look at next? And when is the next Sandy Bay? Tomorrow night, Scotland 2020. Tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. We are back on Sandy Bay. Uh, we won't be using any of this, um, uh, any of this DLC because uh, we can't. Uh, only I will have it on the server and it won't be on the server yet. So, uh, yeah. How much is the combi drill? Let's go and have a look at the combi drill, shall we? Uh, and then we'll see if this, we'll leave this hired. And, uh, and we'll go grab the combi drill and have some fun with that. Where is it? There we go. Shop. Because we do have a field that we can do that on. Uh, so combi drill, we will find under cedars. Yeah, here it is. So by combi drill, uh, Scotland 2020, thank you for the follow. Uh, welcome to the BFN. Hey, Dusty Dave. Welcome along. How you doing, my friend? So, yeah, this is the combi drill. This this I love as well. I've not touched that yet, um, but I want to I wanna give this a go. So, this uh, requires 260 horsepower. Um, it just looks amazing. So, we'll buy that. And this holds no seats. Just, uh, just to point out, you look at this. This has no capacity to hold anything at all so you have to have this 
or another. Do you know what? I want to run an experiment. So we're going to get this front hopper and we're going to try this. But we've got no other front hoppers in here. We have got front hoppers in the planters. And we're going to get the Vatistad and see if we can connect this Vatistad up to it. Okay, and we need 260 horsepower, so perfect tractor for that is the T7. So 260, we need... There we go, 269. Again, I think we can get this... Oh, we can get this in blue power. Class grey. Oh, no, not that grey. That great. Standard trumpets, extra lights, trumpets. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go with extra lights. I'm going to put GPS on it. Uh, configuration. Oh, wow. Uh, no, we need the front fit. Wheel brand. Michelin's wheel setup wide. Come on, give me some jewels. Ah. Uh, Mitis, you get any jewels there? No trouble. Oh, I can't get jewels on this tractor. That's annoying. Uh, right, we'll go with wides on the Michelins. There we go. That will do us for this. Uh, design standard. Blue power. Oh, blue power. So this is a proper blue power one. I'm good, thank you, Dusty Day. NH. Yeah, we are doing a proper NH. So, and I do love the shiny blue powers you get in FS19. Uh, so we'll buy that as well. Right, so. If we hook this Vatistad tank up to the front. Will this connect to the other one? It's got... Uh, the other one has dual pipes, whereas this has a single. I'm really wondering how the game might handle this. Because it'd be really cool if you... Uh, if you had the Vatstad or if you had the, the Covenant, uh, if you were able to connect all this up. So let's do this. Oh wow, look at that! It connects one pipe up and not the other. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. That's that's absolutely no. So that would only uh, that would only half work. Right, let's get that out of the way. Let's let's just sell that. A nice experiment, but yeah. Hello, Michael Horgan Premier. Welcome along. Oh yes, something I want to check. Something that come up. So. 38,900, yeah, that is low in price. Low in price, isn't it? That is. So I was wrong in the other the stream the other night. If you are, uh, if you buy something and immediately try to sell it, 52,000, 38,000. Yeah, you do lose money on it. Wow. And that is not a small amount that you lose either. Right, uh, the other thing I missed in my... Uh, in my thing is this folds and that's why they aren't set at the same point because otherwise they would crash into each other when you did that Ooh. and okay this other thing I love about the um, the manual attach you have to go to here Connect those in order to, so those only connect up once the uh, once you do that that connect, which is just awesome. Right, lift that up higher. We want to then purchase some seeds. Uh, so how much does that hold actually? That holds two thousand liters. These hold a thousand. So buy yes, okay. Buy yes, okay. You're back, you lost internet connection. Right, we're gonna go up to field one with this. Uh, so open these up. 
like that. That's a wicked animation as well. In Cameron Raid, DG78. Raiding with a party of five. You are awesome, DG. Hope you've had a good stream. Welcome, Raiders. There we go. Just, I'm sorry, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely amazing. Proper bit of kit. I have not... This is the first time I've used this T7. I really like it. Uh, my Giants partner link has just appeared in the chat. If you are interested in this DLC and want to buy it and want to support the channel... You can use that link. It will not cost you any extra, but it will uh, it will help support this channel because it's my affiliate link as a giant part giant partner. And if you want my other links, put exclamation mark partner into the chat, or just add VF Gaming as the partner uh, bit when you do the checkout. There's a partner code that you can put in. Put in VF Gaming and that will help support the channel as well. Hello Salty Sim Dog. Stream is very choppy. I don't know why. It should be alright. I am Ollie. Thank you for the host. You are awesome. I'm getting... I, Twitch is telling me I have an excellent connection at the moment. And I'm not seeing... In the preview, I'm not seeing any, anything choppy. So, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on there. We want to... Uh, we're going to head up to field one with this because we know field one is already prepared. It keeps freezing. Hmm. Thank you, Trey Likes for Woo. Hello, Scorpion Deity. Welcome along. It's been buffering a lot tonight and down to foot. I don't know what's going on. The, the the stream definitely says excellent on my uh, on my screen. I'm not seeing a big dropout or anything. It does. There's a lot of um, it is. There's a lot of movement in my um, uh, KBPS because uh, OBS is moving around a bit. But yeah, it's a bit weird. No, that's gone choppy. Yeah, that is that flashed. Don't know what's going on there. Hello, Max Long Tracked Ahead. Welcome along. Give me a stable internet connection, please. I want you guys to see this DLC. Enjoy this DLC. Can't see my speed. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry, I turned that off. I forgot to turn it back on. Yeah, I'd been able to have seen how many liters I, I have for the tank, wouldn't I, if I'd done that. So what will this plant? This will plant wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, and grass. Could you do a setup tour? I will Trey as soon as I have uh, as soon as my uh, new studio is finished. I'm gonna do a setup tour. I am Ollie. Yes, tomorrow is Sandy Bay. Right here we go. Right, unfold. Activate the GPS. Activate GPS. Uh, set our first waypoint. Start up our season. Uh, 
Now, lowering that... Okay, lowering that is interesting, because that... So I'm looking at the front. That then puts that wheel down, which then has sort of a marker on it. So I think you want to lower the back of this, interestingly enough. Right, and then set second waypoint width. And away we go. Awesome. No, lift. Come on. Thank you. Can't wait, wouldn't miss the world. Awesome. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know what it is. I forgot, I'm so used to not having multi-terrain angle, it's really nice to come back to a map that has it. That is just cracking. Look at that. Uh, am I going back to Charwell? I have one more video on Charwell to do. Uh, no plans to go back to it at the moment. Uh, I love it, but uh, as a series, it's kind of run its course. It's it's not getting anywhere near the, the level of views as it used to. So, uh, yeah. No plans to head back to Charwell at the moment. And then we can do that like so. Such a shame about Charwell. It's the the farm is really going places, but it is it is just really that I I have had an idea, but it would end up <laughs> losing me a whole load of recording time, unfortunately. Is Eddie coming back? No, uh, and, and no plans to bring Eddie back at the moment. That's, but that's more to do with the fact that I was losing interest in Eddie's story. So I was, I was finding it harder and harder to record stuff from Shamrock. So, really, what tractor was GD using? Because yeah, no, no missing. No missing bits here. Was he using... Well, we have, shown, we have shown earlier that if you use the wrong front tank, then you end up with, with one of your two bits missing. It could very easily be down to the tractor use. But this is a modern tractor, so I think these pipes are part of the, part of the cedar, not part of the... Um, not part of the tractor. That is just absolutely cracking, not or absolutely cracking uh, seed of this. Liking that a lot.
MF8700. Was it a modded version? Some mod tractors. Yeah, some mod tractors, I think, don't include the connections for the hose. That's the weird thing. Because I can't see this tractor being modded. Uh, you know, being um, set up to... Uh, to, uh, to include these new hoses. That's the thing. Yeah. Don't think anything has dual hoses like this, though, at the moment, does it? Maybe I still have the bracket hidden. Hello, without, by the way. How you doing? I do like this. This is uh, this is a very, very, very nice cedar. I will be using this on um, on Little Norton. I think it's going to work on that map very nicely. Do I miss playing on this map? I do, and I don't. Um, Oakfield is a great map. But uh, it has its limitations. I think if there was if there was contracts everywhere on this map, I would I would love it. But it has its limitations in its field prices and its contracts and yeah. So uh, in, in in 17 I love this map. In 19 I'm not such a huge fan of it as I as I was in 17. Still an awesome map, don't get me wrong. Absolutely awesome map. But it's, it's not one of my favourite uh, ones in 19. Yeah, must must be that it's... Because this isn't a base game tractor. This is nowhere... You know, this is a... This is a, a, a T7 from... It is a great MP map, this, yeah. Uh, yeah, sing single farm MP map. Uh, multi farm MP map, I don't think it's as great, but yeah, certainly single single farm MP map, this is brilliant. Simon101, thank you for the 10 bit cheer, you are awesome. Right, so I think we should let this go. Because I think we've had a good look at this, and I, I do like this cedar a lot. Uh, I am going to be using this cedar more. I'm intrigued to see how the tractor handles it doing uh, doing that. Simon 101, thank you again for another 10 bit cheer. You are awesome. Right, we'll get this on to the straight and see if. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. What happened there? Simon101, thank you for a uh, uh, for another 10-bit shit. Uh, is the, new, the new series is set up. It is not yet recorded. Come on, down. Why run this higher? This tractor, I don't think he does a hide work. Simon101, thank you for another 10-bit shit. <laughs> Well, great. Yeah, this will look fantastic on a fence. I, I think these these just work. The, the red is a great colour for the fence. Uh, and then the green highlights, again, work well with the, the fence greens. That's, that's why I want to do a farm with, uh, with fence on it. But yeah, I can't... Oh, no. Hang on. 
Oh, there we go. That's working. Perfect. Galtop Gamer, thank you for the 28 bit cheer. You are awesome. Oh, it's going to be a long end of the stream. <laughs> right, so we'll leave this here. And what we're going to do is I want to have a look at another couple of bits. Simon101, thank you for another 10 bit cheer. You are awesome. Right, we want to have a look in here and probably going to get a T5 for this next one. Because... Cyber 101, thank you for the one bitch here. You are awesome. Let's fertilize it. So, let's have a look at this. Because I haven't tried this out yet. Uh, this is the, uh, the TLX Geo Spreader. Nearly 4,000 liters of... Uh, fertilizer that this takes I don't think this has a very high power requirement or any power requirements at all SB1000 is the suggested weight I am going to shove it on the front of this Tentrino uh, yeah trail bulbs on those GPS no front loader. Galcom Gamer, thank you for the 10 bit cheer. Have you seen the Fred 300 CI on Yes Mods? It's an awesome little tractor. Oh, mind you, my little tractor is awesome anyway. That I've, I'm getting on there. But I will go and have a look at that. Uh, right, so it suggested. What did it suggest? Uh, an SB1000. So we want something. 1,000, uh, I think I'm going to put the Agco one on uh, in, I don't think we have Fiat, do we? No, Dirt, no, 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 okay. So we'll have this in Onyx. I like Onyx as a colour on my weight. There we go. We haven't had one of these little T5s since uh, we had it on, um, oh god, I can't remember the name of the map. The Suffolk map that we did. Which was a great little map. And we also want some fertilizer. Uh, this takes nearly 4,000 liters. Wow. One, two, three, four. Yep, and refill it. Wow, that looks huge on the back of this. Not close enough to the others. Is there a field somewhere that is uh, not fertilized but is half grown? Oh, I want to take the grass off. There we go. Uh, field 17. What's in 17? 17 is cotton. <laughs> uh, nope. Growth. Okay. There's so much ready to harvest on here. That's ridiculous. Absolutely crazy. Uh, so, yeah, let's buy 17. I'm going to go fertilize some cotton. And check out this uh, spreader. So that's down. That's up. Yeah, not quite able to take four full ones. Close that up. And on with the beacons and away we go. And we'll just uh, we'll just actually we'll go and fertilize the field that we're uh, we'll go and fertilize field one and I think we'll go and spray the cotton. I 
think that would be uh, that would be a great way to go. Because it is just wow. And I want to get that big sprayer out today and just get it on. Uh, see the full wingspan of that trail spray because it is just absolutely massive absolutely mahoosive just realized you guys were filling the cup <laughs> oh that's funny i i switched to the dark side tonight I've mixed my Pepsi and my Coke. Right. Brilliant. Perhaps you don't like Pepsi? I'm, I I like Pepsi. I, I, well, I have Pepsi Matt. This is actually full fat Coke, so this is full of sugar. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, to be perfectly honest, I don't have a massive preference for one over the other. Uh, if either company uh, wants to pay me to have a massive preference of one over the other, I am quite happy to sell out. Um, <laughs> but to be honest, yeah, I don't have a massive preference. I'm never going to do that now. Um, they are, uh, uh, yeah. Sponsored by neither. Sponsored by Panda Cola, the 10p alternative. Oh, man. Come on, up we go. Oh, little, little T5 struggling a little bit. I like ginger Pepsi. Ginger Pepsi is really nice. Uh, raspberry Pepsi Max. Uh, so, uh, Pepsi Max with ginger I like. Um, Pepsi Max with raspberry and strawberry I like as well. Um, those are brilliant. We tend to have Pepsi Max with raspberry in the house. Uh, and it's just, yeah, so nice. So really, really nice. I love, one thing I love about this little lane, this little lane is so photogenic, it's unbelievable. Every time you drive a tractor up that, it just puts it in a, a position where taking a picture of it, it will look awesome. Always look awesome. Kind of want to turn that round and get that cutting again. I think. Just jump out that quick. Not that, not that we uh, particularly need to here. Interestingly, we can look at now that this has been doing a load of work. We can look at the dirt setup on these mowers. Very much like. Interestingly. Not a lot of dirt on the middle section here, but lots on the actual mowers. Yeah, it's blocked by me. There we go. Let that going again. Turn this off now. Hello, Translator Studios. Oh, wow. Massively off course. Oh, well. Doesn't matter that much. Our cedar is doing very nicely up here. Pepsi is not big here, but Coke is. Right, let's have a look at this then. And turn it on. 
see what kind of... So, decent reach on this. I think, I think that's a really decent reach on that. Doesn't take lime, this. But, uh, yeah. Seems to, to reach fairly well across the field. And uh, uh, I think this has got an eight, did I say 18 meter um, width, uh, reach when I was doing this before. Oh, I can't. I can't refresh it. That is pretty cool. So that is a useful spreader. Nice and wide. Let's have a look at the... Uh... Yeah, look at that. Now, there's a view you don't often get of your equipment. Having a look under the bonnet here and just seeing what the... Uh... So that is pretty cool. That is really neat. Can't wait to get your hands on it. Yeah, this, this DLC I, I, I'm really loving. I'm really loving what it adds to the game. And it's, it's, it, again, it's, while there's lots of equipment that we already have similar stuff to, it's the little bits that it adds that, that makes the difference. And that just makes it really cool. Like the, the preload chamber in the, um, in the baler and, and bits like that. This is messy, but I'm, I'm liking this spreader. Yeah, I am liking this spreader a lot. Better if we could see... Yeah, no, it would be nice. Well, you kind of can. Oh, well, as in... Um, better if you could see it coming... Yeah. Yeah, you mean out of, out of this bit here. It'd be better if we could see it. Uh, could see it there. I see, I see what you mean. But who gets? Who gets? You know, that's that's my point. Is that you don't get in that close normally. You wouldn't get in that close. So having that that would be a slightly unnecessary bit of um, animation. And we've caught up to our tractor. Some nice shots of that. Which one do I prefer? The trail one or the fly? I think I prefer the fly. Whoops. The uh, the fly what? Uh, the um, uh, the the butterfly mower. Uh, but then I I'm I'm much more a fan of a fixed set of mowers than a uh, than a set that are uh, that that's trailed like that. So uh, that doesn't overly surprise me. Right, I'm going to leave this to do the rest of this field. Oh, turn around and hit that. And there we go. So what, higher? No. Higher you to go that way. And you can keep doing this field. We're going to head back to the shop. And then the last piece of kit that I want to check out today. Is. Where is it? Sprayers, sprayers, sprayers. Crop protection. Is this. This is absolutely humongous. And we are going to put the 40 meter width on it. Uh doesn't say how much power you need for it but I'm going to grab a medium tractor because I think that is probably a good choice 
Now, I don't think we can't put any narrows on that. So let's take a standard T6 uh, with the narrows on it. Uh, we'll shove it up to the 175 uh, GPS, yes. Uh, good, right, fire that. Yep, okay. Um, and I think that recommends... Oh, wow, foot. No, 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 no. I need to double check that because I think I got that wrong. Uh, no, no recommended weight on it, I don't think. Let's have a look at this. James Coy, thank you for becoming a new member over on the YouTube channel. Or, be, or becoming a member over the YouTube channel. You are awesome. Did that say a weight on the front of it? No, no recommended weight, so we're good. A spreader I like, especially when you can select different widths on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have got the 40. Yeah, we have got the 40 meter on it. Good. Uh, right, and this holds 4,000 liters, so we're gonna get two of these. So refill this. Really trying to think of a map similar size to Oakfield on console. Well, Oakfield is on console. In fact, it's just been updated uh, to do seasons on console. Caught the lights. There we go. Yeah, this converted stuff is going to look great on the fence. Right, we need a nice big field. Well, we're going to take this up to field 7 to try this. I gotta start restarting my router before every stream. There we go. It's one of those things that when my streams go well and the connection's good, we get a good steady viewership where everything goes great and then we go through a period where the route is a little bit dodgy and the connection is a little bit dodgy and yeah it doesn't help oh should have my beacons on for this Good. How do I get to field 17? I think. I think it's down the side of field 19, if I remember correctly. Uh, it says your plan set up so when. Oh! Uh, cool. Uh, Marwell, although I don't, uh, Marwell is not seasons ready on console, I don't think. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm hard pressed to think of um, maps that are similar setups. Ah, uh, no, Grizzly, not, not. It's the way I have it set up. Unfortunately, is uh, is not a, not something I can get a discount on. It's it's a 4G connection, so it's uh, a it's open to a little bit of uh, 
interference and B, I own the router. I bought the router outright. So, I don't know if I can improve it. I don't know if I can get better. Uh, the uh, connection when I got it, uh, they based it on a... Uh, a uh, mast that's over that way from me, uh, which is only about 500 meters away. Um, unfortunately, the mast it connects to is about a mile, two miles that way, um, and therefore has to be at the other side of my house and in a really difficult place. And it's yeah, it's just. Um, I know if I streamed off my phone. I have unlimited, uh, I have a, a, you know, unlimited data on my phone. If I streamed off my phone, which goes to the mast over there, I would get a, a better connection and a more stable connection because it's closer, it's a stronger signal, and everything like that. Uh, and that's the thing. So that's that's what my annoyance is. That's interesting. Oh right, no. That's the entrance to field 18. That is not where I want to be. We want to be over here. Up this way. Now there isn't a roadway here, I don't think. No. It's up past here. And then I think it's down here, yeah. Morpheus started 36 hour stream. So yes, we are gonna go and raid Morpheus simulations. Uh, I do, I, I have a I have a booster aerial, uh, Grizzly. Um I could possibly get it higher. I'd I don't I, I I'm uh, I'm over a year now, so I've finished my contract. So uh, I might start looking at what the alternatives are again. Why don't you do my phone if you better? Because I reckon that um, if I started using massive amounts of data on my unlimited access on my phone, then they might have an issue with it. Right, here we go. Let's see how wide this beast is at 40 meters. I think we're going to do this field in no time. No time flat. Right, unfold it. So, that's the first two sections. And that is the th Look at the width of that! That is nuts! As I said, I, uh, as I said, my spotlight, I think this is the biggest, the widest trailed sprayer in game. I'm not even sure... I'm not even sure the other sprayers, the actual uh, big ones, it's not actually doing anything, unfortunately. This field is, uh, but that is, wow, that's crazily huge. That really is. That's amazingly huge, that. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, this is not Marwell, this is Oakfield. Because I thought it was a good map to, to test these on. Let's see, just... So the widest, 36 meters, 36, yeah, so both of these are 36 meters. This goes up to 40. Uh, so it beats both the standard in-game ones. But I'm wondering as well, crop protection. Uh, which, 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 27 meters, 48 meters. So the, the Hardy, the Hardy Rubicon is wider. But it is, is, yeah, there are mods. But I was, I was wondering if there was anything bigger in the in the standard game. The Hardy is bigger, but it is the only one. So that's that's quite something. That really is. Wow. Um, it has gone half past ten. So uh, I think I'm going to draw this to a cl close at this point. Hey, Twin Cam Gaming, good timing, my friend. Um, yeah, it folds up nicely. It's just gorgeous. So I'm loving this. If you guys want to, uh, if you guys wanna uh, 
pre-order this uh, and want to support the channel, uh, exclamation mark Cavernaland in the chat. Uh, we'll bring up my partner link for this. Uh, so you can head over there to, uh, to get that if you want. Um, I am going to pop out to this screen here. Hello, Moyles. Welcome along. Um, and Barrington 24. Uh, this, this is not Sandy Bay. This is, uh, this is Oakfield Farm. Sandy Bay is when we're doing the, uh, the realism multiplayer. Um, so yeah, uh, that is an awesome DLC. Go check it out, guys. Go, go grab it. Because, yeah, you won't be disappointed. Add so many really neat and cool features to the game. And, uh, and yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. I will be giving away two more copies of the DLC over the next two days. So a copy in tomorrow night's uh, Realism Experiment multiplayer. Um, and then a copy in Sunday's Realism Experiment as well. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that, that will be awesome. Uh, I hope you can join me for both of those. Uh, tomorrow, my series on... Um, uh, little, uh, little uh, Newton, Newton, uh, Norton uh, starts. Um, we will be using the Cavernon DLC on that extensively, so check that out. Um, uh, that will be cool. We're going to be using fence and uh, and Cavernon equipment on that. Uh, and uh, now we are going to go and have a raid over at uh, Morpheus Simulations, I think. Who? He's on a 36 hour stream. If he started. Let's have a look. Uh, yep, he has. So uh, he has started his 36 hour stream. So we are going to go and say uh, hi to him. Uh, I've got a few thank yous to say though before we go. Because you guys have been amazing tonight. Uh, so thank you to James Coy for subscribing uh, over. Or for becoming a member over on the uh, on YouTube, uh, Galcom Gamer, thank you for your uh, for your cheers and for your sound alerts and for uh, your uh, gifted subs. You have been awesome, Simon One Hundred and One. Thank you for your cheers, um, Martin L Gamer. Thank you for your cheers and I think you gifted, uh, yeah, and your gifted subs as well. Uh, Twinkem Gaming, thank you for your cheer. Um, who else did we have in here tonight? The Fisher J, thank you for your gifted subs, uh, your cheers, uh, and your sound alerts as well. Uh, Daniel Kinsberg, thank you for your cheer. Um, do we have anybody else in here? Galcom Gamer, thank you again for the additional cheer. You are awesome. Um, I think that... Oh, yes, thank you to Red Dirt Ranch for your raid, to uh, Gamer Dragon for your raid, um, and to uh, DG78 uh, for your raid. Um, I haven't got one for DG, but... Uh, go check out Gamer Dragon and go check out Red Dirt. Uh, two fantastic streamers. Um, absolutely worth your time. So go check out those guys. Um, hello, Farming Girl 27. Welcome along. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't notice you in there before. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. So uh, please hang on for the end of the credits. Uh, you will get uh, Grope Marks for joining the raid, which you can put towards entering the giveaway which will happen on the 30th of uh, June for one of these farm sim side panels let me just, 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 just for one of these wonderful farm sim side panels if you want to win one of these you want to enter this month's giveaway I am giving away one of those which is awesome so I uh, I hope that uh, that you are able to enter that um, and, uh, and yeah, I will be back tomorrow from 8.30 and have a video at 2pm. So I will see you then. And until then, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. If you have yet to follow us here on Twitch, please hit that follow button. And make sure you're getting uh, alerts for when I go live. And if you're watching the VOD over on YouTube, uh, please uh, give it a like, drop us a comment, give it a share, 
Uh, and for the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.